if it only grows where the sun, the um, sunlight can't get at, and it uh, it actually um, relocates the moisture once the temperature reaches 36 degrees Celsius, the wandering dew. Um, sends the moisture back into the ground, it doesn't evaporate, it doesn't um, transpire. They just relocate it into the soil mm -hmm. and it so relocates the water to the same root area as the citrus have their fibrous roots. So it is just a, you know, a perfect, perfect way of conserving moisture and actually when I got this hole set up working with the wandering dew we were able to um, go or reduce our horsepower and our motors from 25 horsepower motors to four horsepower motors to uh, provide all of the moisture that we wanted or needed once we had that wandering dew working naturally for us. Do you think that would work under cherry uh, groves and apple? Orchards and mainly citrus because of the shade like unfortunately it doesn't thrive unless it's in shade and you can see it's sort of yeah. it's never got out yeah. away from the um, and that's because citrus is so shaded while cherry they keep it yeah um, but no, the Department of Ag they criticized me and said that it was competing with the trees when we finally convinced them to do, I actually paid for the neutron probes to put through to um, for them to check the times that the tree, trees went under stress um, as compared with conventionally like we used to do it with the irrigation before we planted the, um, the wandering dew and uh, the areas where the wandering dew were and the other areas, they reckoned that bare ground was the best. So I actually, between two, two uh, lots of trees, I physically hand raked it every fortnight or so, so it was kept bare for the eight months. And it required, or the trees reached stress point uh, on the bare ground three times in eight months, and they never reached stress point where the wandering dew was and that's when they started measuring and the first thing of a morning or under moist conditions it is 80 plus percent moisture water when the, the temperature reaches 36 degrees um, it comes back to 36 percent moisture simply by relocating the water to where the trees need it and the study that I did on it shows that you know it is the understory plant where all of our brush trees in this area um, including red cedars sassafras and all of our brush trees this is where the seedlings germinate is in this um, wandering dew and it does two things it provides them with constant moisture but it also sends them looking the the uh, seedlings sends them looking for sunlight or to get sunlight so we get longer and straighter trees when they're growing in this wandering dew. <laughs> it just changes the growth habit. But it is, um, yeah, it's a fascinating plant and it costs millions of dollars to get rid of every year in Australia. Yeah. 